second place Now I unlearn to live and learn I don't blame love but I blame you From my heartbroken point of view Falling from a bridge you just burned I've got better things to do Better things to do A better place for me is a hundred miles from you I've got better things to do Better things to do A better love for me could be anyone but you Every talk you have to say, lonely ain't no place to stay. It's better to have love than not at all. Words don't keep me warm at night. I need someone to hold me tight. Loving arms to catch me when I'm home. I've got better things to do, better things to do. A better place for me is a hundred miles from you. I've got better things to do, better things to do. A better love for me could be anyone but you. When my heart don't hurt no more And you come knocking on my door Tempting me to get back in the race I'll get up on my feet again And leave you like you left me then You'll see how it feels from second place I've got better things to do Better things to do A better place for me Is a hundred miles from you I've got better things to do Better things to do A better love for me Could be anyone but you Hey y'all, this is Sarah. I'm here today with the Shootouts. We're super stoked to be learning a little more about them. Welcome y'all to Chicago Music Exchange. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Absolutely, pleasure. So y'all have a new album, Stampede, coming out next month. Congratulations. Thank Can you. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, you know, we, uh, we were uh, in the throes of promoting a record called Bullseye in early 2021. And uh, we weren't really planning on making another record so quickly, uh, but we kind of uh, connected with Ray Benson, uh, famed country legend, lead singer of Asleep at the Wheel. And uh, next thing you know, we literally were just out of the gate with Bullseye and we were starting to plan for the next record. So wow. it wasn't something that we were uh, thinking we would do so quickly, but certainly glad that we did. Awesome, exciting. In addition to that, you're heading out on what looks like an awesome tour starting next month. I see that you're making your debut at the Grand Old Opry yeah. on February 24th, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> how stoked are y'all? Um, can you tell us a little bit about pretty, that? Pretty how stoked. you're feeling? Yeah, pretty yeah. stoked. Yeah, I don't know if we have the right word to describe it, but yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the words for it, for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll, I will never forget the call. We were at a show, actually, and uh, Emily was... was uh, in Europe at that time and we oh. were backstage and I got the call and, and just was floored and uh, our, our, our agent Lee who's uh, uh, thinks he's probably in comedy I guess too told me he's like yeah unfortunately our your album release party that night's canceled and I was like what why oh and he's like well because you're playing the Grand Old Opry instead <laughs> Upgrade. And then he yeah. reused that joke on me. Yeah, and I, scared I called me. her and <laughs> did the same joke to her too. So. <laughs> I don't need to be told by you. I don't need anyone.
something I planned on And this isn't something I'll find well, I just need you to hold me, baby Try as hard as I might I'll never need anyone more than I need you tonight Baby, tonight Well, I'll never need anyone more than I need you tonight Baby, tonight Well, I'll never need anyone more than I need you tonight Is there a piece of gear that you feel is crucial to your sound or something that you absolutely couldn't live without to pull off the sound that the shootouts are known for? Instruments. <laughs> for sure. Honestly, that's you... the obvious answer. <laughs> that's the obvious one. Uh, I would, go ahead. But I, I was going to say, I think a Telecaster, right? A hundred percent, dude. Yeah. Sound of honky-tonk music. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, every every good country band or rock band really should have a Telecaster. and and. Fender at P bass, yeah. Oh, Han guitars, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. His is a custom made Han guitar. Yeah, Telly. Beautiful. Telly, yeah. And uh, but boy, I mean, Telecaster. Uh, if you don't have a Telly, I don't know if you're a country band. All right, I'm not a country band. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your songwriting process. How do you all work together as sure. a band when it comes to figuring out new songs and the creative yeah. process? So the one thing that, that has really been uh, fun about the shootouts is that it really is collaborative. And uh, I write some of the songs. Brian writes all the instrumental songs. Um, we also have uh, some longtime extended family members, a gentleman by the name of Al Moss, who used to play with us, uh, but, but can't tour anymore. And he uh, he still is in the studio with us. He still writes songs. We work with him. And then when we're arranging stuff, we all get together. And you know, I might say, hey, I wrote this new song. And we get together and we you know, throw it against the wall and, and see what sticks. And we'll try different arrangements and stuff. And really, it is a very collaborative process. And, and uh, every record that we've done so far has really been a mishmash of, of multiple uh, multiple writers as well as a couple covers and, and I think that kind of makes up our sound.
February on 53 Dress blues on a 10 day leave Her picture in mine Thumbing my way through South Shire Route 30 and heading east With the stranger next to me 1,300 miles Till I see my baby smile Waking up in the passenger seat Of a 49 Mercury Johnny Ray on the radio Counting streets as it starts to snow Staring into the morning sun her name on the tip of my tongue Two days down, just one more day Till I see my baby's face Well, I'll cross the Mississippi as the daylight fades Hold on, honey, I'm on my way From California to Ohio I'm gonna get there Big steel and ball To the place I know From California Back to Ohio Well, gray skies and tail lights State lines and motel signs Stars and clouds to pass the time While her heart serves as my guide It's just the start of a life well lived A beautiful wife, four small kids Love that lives in her blue eyes I'll hold close until I die Well, I'm crossing Mississippi as the daylight fades Hold on, honey, I'm on my I know from California back to Ohio. From California to Ohio, I'm gonna get there. Big seal and ball home. back to the one I love, back to the place I know. Uh, when it comes to influences, are there any artists that y'all uh, feel directly influence your style Gosh. or anybody you look to for inspiration? I, you know, I, yeah, I'd like, why don't you answer that a little bit? Because, you know, really a big part of our sound is his guitar playing and, um, and you know, he's influenced by a lot of different things. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, we do Bakersfield stuff. So, you know, Bucks, the Merle Haggards, yeah. you know, and then we go uh, Nashville. We have a lot of influence. You know, from the pedal steel players of that era. I mean, I rip off Buddy Emmons directly <laughs> a lot on guitar, you know. Yeah. So, you know, we're kind of all over the map. Tech, we go to Texas, we pretend yeah. to be Western, Western Swing. Western Swing a little bit. So, you know, right. yeah. we're all over the map. So it's not like direct, it's in the honky-tonk vein you throughout know, the whole country. And part of the reason that Brian and I started this band was because we kind of bonded over the fact that we loved, like, real traditional country music that's hard to hear in... Um, in like regular radio nowadays, things Absolutely. of that nature. And so, uh, you know, part of our mission statement when we started this band was just to have fun doing uh, our own version of, of traditional country music. And that, as Brian said, could be uh, Western Swing, it could be Bakersfield, it could be Nashville, it could be Roots Rock. We do even, uh, a song on the new record is a little bit of like California country rock. Ooh, nice. You know, so I mean, yeah. I think as long as it's rooted in the, in the traditions of the genre and you kind of run that through our little Rust Belt band, uh, that's that's makes up our sound. Awesome, a lot of great influences there. In terms of being from Akron, Ohio, not the first place you think of for country no. western music. <laughs> How no did... way. Yeah, you, you don't, <laughs> you don't say. say, right? There's a little place called Nashville that I feel yeah, like. Yeah. Um, 
How did y'all come to uh, get into country western music? How did this all come together for y'all not being, yeah. you know, close to a big scene for that genre? Well, uh, you know, we all, we all, for, especially the three of us, I know you came to a little later, but, but we, <laughs> which is good, it doesn't matter how, but, uh, you know, we all had a lot of uh, influence early in life of folks in our family that listen to country music. And, um, you know, I mean, I think you should tell the story because, I mean, how did you learn how to sing harmony? It was... Oh, I learned how to sing harmony with my dad in a pickup truck that did, didn't have a working radio. So we would just drive down the road and sing together. And that's how I figured out how to sing harmonies. That's and amazing. We still do that sometimes. Just yeah, for yeah, fun. yeah. <laughs> and, some, and some of the stuff, I mean, you said you guys would sing like the Judds and just, I mean, all sorts of... Oh, yeah. I mean, I grew up <laughs> listening to, you know, what was then modern country music. And sure. so the Judds and Trisha Yearwood and yeah. Martina McBride and all those, you know, fabulous ladies. Um, one of my very earliest concerts that I remember was Crystal Gale. And now we get to play with her on the Grand Ole Opry. Unreal. So it is uh, the craziest full circle moment. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'll ever get over it. Yeah. What a dream. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And as far as, you know, I mean, uh, same thing. I think you said that you, your uh, grandparents, right? Your grand listened to a lot of country. My, my grandpa, my mom and my dad. My mom was listening to 90s country when I was a kid. And so, you know, you could still hear George Strait and the Mavericks and Dwight Yoakam and, and all that stuff. Patty Loveless. So many great uh, country artists that I think at the time, some of that stuff was looked at as not traditional. And now sure. if you look back, it was you know, way more traditional than some of the stuff you're hearing on the radio now. Um, and so we're still very heavily influenced by all that stuff, uh, as well as you know the classics, of course, Waylon and Willie and Merle and and Bob Wills and Dolly, Dolly, of course, <laughs> and Loretta. And you know, I mean, there's so many great influences. Um, we're kind of at an interesting stage, I think, in the history of country music because a lot of the the big, huge Mount Rushmore legends are are leaving us. Yeah. And so, you know, we're hoping that we can just help carry on that tradition. Awesome.
All right, for those who want to know more about y'all, where's the best place for them to go? Can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming tour and where to find you? Yeah, we're on all the socials at Shootouts Music. Uh, we're on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, everything as Shootouts Music. Uh, and then our website is shootoutsmusic.com and we've got a full tour coming up here uh, in February, March, and we're gonna be out a good portion of this year supporting this album. Uh, and people can also uh, order, you know, uh, merch and all that stuff at the website, shootoutsmusic.com. All right, Shootouts Music, we're so glad you all came in today. Hey, thank, thank you, you for you. letting us ask you some questions. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate sure. it. Thanks. Run for cover, here comes a hop. She needs a brand new lover that she can tear her off. Well, it's the same old story, tragic but true. She ain't ever happy unless she's walking on. Run for 